the first OER I ever made or used was an OER that I created with students um, called the Open Anthology of Early American Literature. I was really lucky to be in a field where almost everything was public domain texts. So we made this anthology. It was digital um, and it was kind of okay. You know, it didn't have a lot of things that the paid version had in terms of like footnotes and notes. And so students weren't actually loving it. And that kind of changed when I layered in hypothesis to this open textbook that we had made. Um, and I put in the chat uh, uh, the sort of origin stories of this of this project, and you can you can take a look at it a little. But hypothesis was new when I was doing this, um, and somehow you know they were so new and so small that they would like talk to me every day about like how's it going over in your class, and they would watch. Um, they would watch my class, like do a kind of beta thing. So it was this really cool thing because I was not a techie. So um, I really felt like they were watching actual students to develop the tool, which was cool. And then my students loved the idea of like being in on the ground floor of something, but the textbook itself really took off when I put hypothesis in there. Um, and you can see from the little write up I shared that I think hypothesis was the reason that this OER became a living organic place rather than um, a replacement for a textbook. It was replacing the Heath Anthology. And that was kind of a game changer for me. So in some ways, I think hypothesis is what pulled me into open pedagogy. This idea that using open resources allowed for my students to have a different relationship to learning materials than they had before. Um, so that was like pretty transformative for me. And again, at the time I was new and open, I was new in everything. Um, so I was just, I felt really lucky to be hooked in with a community of people that was discovering the potential of using an open license, making OER, using social annotation, all is kind of one posse. And I, I think it's hard for me to separate out now the OER from the social annotations. So all the stuff I've done since, mostly through Rebus, um, has had hypothesis, you know, plugged into it. And I think it's been, it's been pretty cool.